Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Vipin Kumar, and I am back with another video: How to install and configure a GUI interface for your Docker environment. This video is specially for whom who is looking for a GUI interface for their Docker environment. In this video, we are going to install and configure a open source project that is maintained by Portnair. Portnair is a lightweight GUI interface for the Docker environment. You can read more about Portnair open source project on GitHub. It is very lightweight uh, management UI interface for the different Docker environment. So let's begin. This is my brand new CentOS machine. I am going to install the dockers on this machine. Okay, docker has been installed on my machine. You can check the docker version. Okay, at this moment, docker daemon is not running. Let's go ahead and start it. Now we can try to docker version. It is up and online. I am going to disable the firewall because it is my local machine. Now we are going to create a open SSL certificate for the GUI interface. I am going to use this GUI interface in our internal network. So I am okay with the open SSL certificate. If you want to expose this interface outside of your internal network, then you need to get a SSL certificate from CA. So I am creating a open SSL certificate for the interface. Let's create a cert folder. In this folder, we are going to keep all our certificate. This command is going to create a SSL certificate for the Portnair interface. Country name, leave it blank, leave it blank. Locality name, leave it blank. Leave it blank. Leave it blank. Okay, give the give the host name or a DNS name on which you want to access a GUI interface for the Docker environment. So I am providing the host name of this machine. Leave it blank. Now certificate has been created. We can verify the certificates. Now we are going to launch a Portnair containers. Before launching the containers, we need to create a directory or folder to mount on the container. So I am creating a folder under the OPD location. Now I am launching a Portnair containers. In this command, I am going to launch a docker container in detach mode. My port will point 443 to 9000. The name will be Portnair. Restart always. I am mounting the docker socket file from host to the container and I am mounting another folder on the container as well as I am mounting the certificate uh, folder this is for the SSL certificate so let's go ahead and launch the container it is going to download the image 
from the docker hub we can verify the container the container is running now we can access the interface on the browser before try to access the interface on the browser let's modify the local etc file let's make sure that host name is pointing to the right vm now let's try to access the interface on the browser Obviously, I am getting the warning message. That's okay. Our Docker interface ready to use. Provide the initial password for the admin account. This is the first screen you will see after create a user. You can connect remote docker host or local docker host. So currently I am connecting my local docker host. Connect. This is the home page of the interface and currently it is monitoring my local docker host. You can see my local docker host up and online if you click on the local docker host you can see more information about my local docker host i am not going to be explained all available features right now i will create another video to walk through all the features for this interface for this video that's all thanks for watching have a nice day